Tetris is basically the most popular video game of all time, being released on essentially every home console and gaming platform since its inception in 1984. It was created by Alexei Pudzhenov, a Soviet AI researcher. It's a simple but addicting puzzle game where you have to place descending full blocked pieces at the bottom of the playing field in an effort to create a complete 10 block horizontal line, wiping it out and keeping the game going until your stack reaches the top, preventing any more pieces from getting in, with the goal of scoring as many points as possible or creating as many lines as possible. There were several ports of the game on various computer systems throughout the 80s, and when 1989 came around, it would find its way onto the NES. Twice. To make a long story short, there was a heated legal battle over the rights to Tetris. So there's a version by Tengen, and one by Nintendo. Due to Nintendo securing the rights, the Tengen version was pulled from the shelves, resulting in it being significantly rarer than the Nintendo version. Both games stay true to the core of Tetris, neither of which go out of their way to try to expand the game by introducing new pieces or any other gimmicky bullshit like that. That came when Tetris 2 was released. So the mechanics in both versions are identical, and as pretty much everyone who has played the game and has even a minuscule interest in puzzles of any fashion can attest, the game is addicting as all shit. But like any comparison of Tetris games, what separates these two are the subtleties and the features. Tengen has a little more colorful of a presentation, and the pieces themselves have a different individual colors between them, while Nintendo's is monochromatic, although the color theme does change from level to level. But then again, all the inactive pieces that have already been placed in the Tengen version always turn an off-white color to distinguish what your active piece is, so that's pretty much a wash. Nintendo's pieces are bigger, and they have the grid lines in each square block, which is easier on the eyes, I think, in terms of lining everything up. Tengen unquestionably has the edge in terms of features. There's the traditional single player option, two player versus mode, co-op mode, or you can battle against the computer. Although I have no fucking clue why the cursor skips over the even numbers and then falls back to them and skips over the odds when you're selecting your level settings. With the Nintendo, you only have the single player option. There's no split screen mode whatsoever. This is a major oversight, as one of the most fun aspects of Tetris is battling against someone, even if it is against the computer. The added pressure of outdoing your opponent adds to the intensity of an already intense game. Nintendo's features consist of the previously mentioned single player mode with 9 levels, plus a mode where the levels ascend and pick up speed instead of staying on a strict pace the whole time, much like the Tengen version. Nintendo's exclusive feature comes in the form of B mode, a variation where the field has an already stacked clusterfuck batch of pieces, the height of which is adjustable with 6 levels, and you have to clear 25 lines. It's okay for a change of pace, I guess, but this doesn't replace the fun factor level of multiplayer at all. What Nintendo does have going for it, though, is a slightly better overall feel. The controls are a little more fluid, particularly when dropping pieces. Tengen's has this weird momentum swing where it starts off slow and then quickly shifts gears. It doesn't feel as natural as Nintendo's, and like I said before, the inclusion of the grid lines is better from a visual standpoint. So I give Nintendo the edge if you're strictly talking about the nuts and bolts. If you want to play the one player mode against no opponent, human or computer, with the sole objective of reaching your high score, or if you don't mind alternating with your friends for the sake of the better overall game experience, then plugging in the Nintendo port is the recommended option. But if you're specifically looking for a head-to-head -head matchup, then you can forgive the Tengen version's flaws for the sake of the expanded features. But come to find out, Nintendo didn't overlook the fact that a two player mode should be included. They were in fact developing it for the game, and it's still in the coding of the game and can be unlocked with the Game Genie. It's unfinished, so the design is crude, but it's still interesting to see it in action. Why didn't this get finished? I have no clue. I'm guessing they had to meet a deadline or something and didn't have enough time. It was certainly not beyond the programmer's limits. They had already gotten the meat and potatoes into the game. If this feature had been included, then I don't think there'd be any debate over which game was better overall. However, they're both great adaptations of Pudgeonoff's masterpiece.